Asher and Soralena had been on the road with their unit of dedicates for a week now. Asher had tried not to have expectations for how it would be. She had never been near a battle before in her life. Many of her schoolmates had enlisted in the Sistelli Infantry as soon as they turned 14. While they went off to the front lines, Asher had spent the last five years behind the walls of a holiest house, learning strategy, theology, scientific soteriology, and all the other subjects that formed the curriculum of a Sistelli SOAR commander. Asher was not naive enough to believe her lessons could prepare her for the reality of war. But so far, her duties on the march had been almost shockingly routine. Every morning, Asher assisted Sor Elena with her standard self-maintenance, removing any dirt or grit that had worked its way inside the copper and iron of the Sor commander's carapace, and ensuring that any minor mechanical damage was resolved before it could worsen. Then Asher and Sor Elena mounted their mules for the day's travel while the dedicates got into marching formation behind them. When they stopped, Asher rubbed down the mules, then used the last of the dying light to study maps of the terrain ahead. Once her duties were taken care of, she left Sor Elena meditating by the road and crawled into her own small tent to sleep. Sor Elena, of course, didn't sleep anymore. The dedicates did sleep, but they generally pitched their own tents a respectful distance away and took care of their own food and maintenance. They were not as vulnerable to environmental damage as Soralena. Their carapaces were overlapping plates of uniform dark mail, all heavy practicality with none of the handcrafted filigree and fanciful flourishes that the sisters who took the soul's habit forged for themselves. But unlike their soar commanders, somewhere beneath all that featureless iron, they had a pulse and a heartbeat. Somehow that made them feel stranger to Asher than the habited sisters. But that was just unfamiliarity, or so Asher told herself, watching the gray hulk that was Sergeant Barguest come marching up from the dedicates encampment for the regular evening briefing. Asher had now spent hundreds of hours studying under Sor Beatrice's unchanging crystal eyes. She'd taken apart Sor Raphael's arm and put it back together again, while Sor Raphael watched and critiqued her technique. 